I'm going to be showing you five ways to remove blemishes in Photoshop as a beginner. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do when you come to Photoshop, duplicate a layer by pressing Ctrl J or Command J if you're using the Mac. And the first method I'm going to be showing you guys is the close stamp tool. So just come to your toolbar, just pick your close stamp tool. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And to use your close stamp tool, make sure you are using a soft one brush. Make sure your mode is set to normal. Opacity is set to 100, flow is set to 100, align is checked, and sample all layer is checked. Once you get your settings right, just press alternate on your keyboard, click on your mouse to sample from the close by area, and just paint over any blemishes. Press alternate on your keyboard, sample and paint over any blemishes. And to increase your brush size, you can use the square bracket key on your keyboard to increase and decrease your brush size. So if you want to remove your big blemishes, Make sure to increase your brush size to fit with the blemishes you want to remove. So press alternate to your keyboard, sample from your close by area and just remove. Alternate to sample and just remove like that. Alternate sample and just remove like that. So that's how you can use your close stamp tool to remove blemishes from your image. Another method which you can use to remove your blemishes in Photoshop as a beginner is the spot healing brush. I'm going to show you how to use that right now. So just come to your toolbar and just click on this your spot healing brush right here. So this is your spot healing brush. So just click on it. And to use your spot healing brush, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just paint on top the blemishes like that. Make sure you're using the soft one brush as well. Make sure your height is set to zero. And make sure your mood is set to normal. Make sure content aware is checked. And if you are working on an empty layer, make sure sample only is checked. But since I'm working directly on the image, I did not check the sample layer. Let me quickly explain that. If I'm working on an empty layer, let's say I create an empty layer, and I just paint over the blemishes, it's not going to remove because sample or layer is not checked, so it's not going to work because I'm brushing on an empty layer. But if I click on this sample or layer and I just paint over the blemishes, any blemishes, let's use obvious blemishes like this one right here, it's going to remove because I click on sample or layer. But since I'm working directly on the background, I'm just going to delete this empty layer and just uncheck the sample or layer and just paint over the blemishes like that to remove. And also to increase and decrease your brush size, use the square bracket key on your keyboard to increase and decrease your brush size. So that's how you use the spot healing brush tool. Another tool which you can use to remove blemishes or spots on your image is the healing brush tool. And this healing brush tool works like the close down tool. So just come to your healing brush tool right here. Click on it and just zoom in a little bit. To use your healing brush tool, make sure your mood is on normal. Make sure your source is a sample. Make sure you are using a soft round brush as well. Make sure your hardness is set to zero. Make sure you have a correct layer. You can move your diffusion to seven if you want, but I prefer to use five, so I'll just leave it on five. And just press alternate on your keyboard again to sample and paint over any blemishes you want to remove. Press alternate to your keyboard, sample and paint over if you want to remove. Use the square bracket key to increase and decrease your brush size according to the size of the blemishes you want to remove. So just press alternate to your keyboard to sample and just paint over the blemishes. Sample and paint just like the close down to sample and paint over any blemishes you want to remove like that. And the reason why I'm emphasizing on your brush size is because if you use a big brush to remove a small blemishes, it's going to leave some patches right there. So let me show you an example. If I just increase my brush size, I just sample from a close by area and I just paint over the small blemishes. It's going to leave some patches right there which you don't want so you can see right here it's leaving some patches which i don't want so i'll show you the before and after it goes to the patches this is the before and this is the after you can see the patches is leaving right there it's not making it look good so that's why you have to increase and increase your brush size according to the blemishes you want to remove the first method that you can use to remove your blemishes in photoshop is the patch tool so i'll just pick my patch tool right here and this patch tool make sure this first one is checked make sure your patch is on normal and source is checked the efficient you can change the efficient to five or seven i'll just leave my own on five and to use the patch what you have to do is just zoom in a little bit just circle around the patches like this and just move it to a close by area like that circle around it move it circle around it move it like that so circle and move to a close by area circle and move to a close by area so that's how you use your patch tool just circle around the blemishes and just move it to a close by area circle and move it to a close by area. So the reason why I'm explaining all these tools is because sometimes if you use the close stamp tool, it's not going to work. You will have to use the patch tool before it works. Sometimes if you use the spot healing brush tool, it's not going to give you the perfect result that you are looking for. So you have to use the healing brush tool to get the kind of results you are looking for. So it's better to know how to use 
all the tools to remove blemishes so that we have a situation that is quite specific to you can just use that tool to fix the situation so the last technique which i'm going to show you guys is called the frequency separation method so to use the frequency separation method i'm just going to delete this layer which i created and just duplicate my layer again by pressing on ctrl j or command j if you're using the mac come to my retouching academy click on frequency separation via gaussian blur and just use a radius of about 10 for this particular image and click on ok and just make sure my high texture is selected and the reason why my high texture is selected is because the blemishes are textures and all the textures in this image are inside this high texture while all the color of the image are inside this low frequency since we want to work on the blemishes make sure your high texture is selected so i'm going to pick my close stamp tool this time make sure current layer is selected for your sample since we are working on the texture make sure current layer is selected if you are using this frequency proportion method, make sure current layer is selected. And the reason why I want your current layer to be selected is if all layer is selected or current or blue layer is selected, if I just sample and paint, it's not going to make the image look good. You can see what's happening to the image. It's just adding those patches, those light patches to the image because sample is on current and blue. So make sure only current layer is selected. So I'm just going to undo that. So once current layer is selected, just sample from your close by area and brush over the blemishes and it's going to work. Sample and brush just like that. Sample and brush just like that. So I use this frequency separation method to remove my blemishes because I've successfully separated the textures from the colors. So every time I do that, it's not affecting the colors, it's only affecting only the textures. So after removing the blemishes using this frequency separation method, it's still going to make my image look good and it's not going to leave any patches. That's why I'm using this frequency separation method to remove blemishes from my image because it gives me the best results. So you, you have varieties of options which you can choose from. But for me, I'm facing this frequency separation blur does because it works perfectly for me. So those are the few ways you can use to remove blemishes from your image. And if you have other methods that you use, let me know in the comment section. I would love to learn. I would love to know how you do it. Let me know in the comment section. And if you want to learn how to use the frequency separation blur readers, click on this video to show you up here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.